All right. Um, I suspect there might be, we might end up, um, I might put some more specific questions to you on this subject on notice. Um, in terms of either intentional misuse or the increasing frequency of encrypted traffic, people using virtual private networks, people using um, the Tor browser or similar services, um, will any of those services be caught by the data retention regime? My understanding is they will not. In fact, that's precisely their purpose, among other things. And is it government policy to try and circumvent any of those things in order to bring them within scope of data retention? Government's policy is to create a, a consistent uh, but tailored and appropriate response to the challenges of accessibility of data, and it has done so by impose, seeking to impose an obligation on carriers and carriage service providers providing telecommunications services within Australia subject to both general exemptions which are on the face of the bill and potentially the application of specific exemptions that may be granted administratively on application by the service provider. Are you worried that, <clears throat> or is the government worried, oh, you don't have to express your degree of worry I guess, that in striving for such extraordinary scope you will in fact drive people towards default encrypted messaging and, and browsing technologies, which actually defeats the entire purpose of what you're up to? Look, I, mean, I think there's, there's a number of competing challenges uh, in, in terms of law enforcement access to the information that they would need to progress their investigations. Uh, it's fair to say that a range of considerations factor into government policy on uh, both access to telecommunications data I'm, I'm uh, giving and you some broadly. of those considerations. Sorry? Maybe be specific. Are you concerned, or have you even modelled um, the quantum, the number of people who will move their services to places that protect their privacy from precisely the kind of regime you're seeking to institute? What, what we are aware is that there have been some studies. I think the UN uh, Office of Drugs and Crime have looked broadly yeah. at this issue yeah. from the perspective of, um, you know, how many offenders are starting to use encryption technology. I didn't mention offenders, actually. I'm talking about ordinary people. But, I mean, go ahead with the study. Well, I'm, I'm well the, the, I mean, obviously the intent of the bill is focused on um, people engaging in criminal activity. No, it's not. It's rolled across the entire Australian population. That's why people are so pissed off about it. But it's not targeted or discriminate at all. It's engaged at everybody. My six-year-old nephew uses telecommunication services. But, but it is intended to assist agencies who are focused on criminal and national security investigations. Uh, that's what their, their particular focus is on. That's why they are, they are seeking access to the data. Okay. Um, and, and that is why... We, and we, we, it is acknowledged that um, data is part of a suite of investigative tools that, they, that agencies need to rely upon in order to progress investigations. Mm. It, they don't rely 100% on it, but it's an important aspect of uh, investigative process. Um, can we just come then to 